Hello. Hello, hello. All right, guys, like I said, it is the day. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to be doing a TCA peel on myself today. I'm really excited. Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. TCA is a, an amazing acid. You just have to be very cautious with it because a lot of people don't know what it is. And honestly, acids in general can be very daunting and scary. And I want you not to be scared. Now, first, let me preface this by saying I am not a medical professional. So you need to do your own research, do this at your own risk. And be sure to research and follow the instructions based on the manufacturer. So that's going to depend a lot on how much time you're going to leave this product on. It's going to depend, um, it's going to determine a lot of things for you. So because this is a particular brand and I don't want anyone duplicating what I'm doing and if they're using something else I'm not going to share the brand name I will tell you guys what percentage I'm using once again I'm using um, a TCA peel trichloroacetic acid which is a combination of acetic acid and chlorine if I'm not mistaken I have to double check that I'm using the 13 and actually let me go grab one thing real quick I'll be right back I have it. Okay, it's right here. Yes, okay. So um, when, when it comes to TCA, um, all, always know that it's all going to depend on the percentage that you're using. So TCA can come in um, 7%. That's really good for areas like your eyelids or like sensitive skin like your hands, if you're wanting to resurface your hands. And then you have... Um, different percentages, 13 TCA. That is what we're working with right now because I'm just gonna walk you guys through the process as I prep my skin to get to that 25. That's my ultimate goal. So um, there is also TCA 30. TCA 30 is really mainly for your body. And it's so funny because um, if you don't research, it's not funny, but if you don't research what you're using or what the the brand's recommendations are and let's just say you buy something on Amazon and you don't do any research at all you could really burn yourself um, to the point where you could cause scarring um, so you definitely don't want to do this without proper research I am working on a project right now that's gonna have all of these things in one place all the different types of chem peels all of the different types of enzymes um, that should be launching the first week of June. So I'm really, really excited about that project. And I want to just come on here and show you guys the proper way to do it and how to start things off. You guys have seen me do a couple of enzyme peels. You've seen me do malic acid. You've seen me do um, lactic acid. You've seen me do um, citric acid. So we're moving on up. Um, Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is be sure that if you are Fitzpatrick's 3 plus that you're using some kind of a melanin inhibitor because you don't want to cause yourself to scar. You, you will have some flaking and some peeling on this peel. So um, you don't want to make it worse. You don't want to have any kind of long term damage in your skin. Hello, Raquel. Um, just remember that when you are doing a peel, it can cause inflammation. You can get swollen, so be prepared. You should not be out in the sun after this. You should not be um, playing a softball game later. You want to be inside, wear tons of sunscreen, and you also want to be wearing a hat, sunglasses, whatever you need to protect yourself. So first things first, I have my supplies. I have my gloves. I have my cotton rounds. I have my containers that I'm going to be using. In this one, I have a paste of baking soda mix. Um, and this is going to be, sorry, to neutralize the peel. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm doing a TCA 13. And um, I need to let my hand dry real quick. This is really good for acne scarring and PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. 
which is what I'm trying to cure here. So now I have some um, inflammation because I ate dairy. Dairy doesn't do very well for me. I had some cake for my um, nanny's birthday and it does not sit well with my skin. And I also haven't been drinking enough water. So I'm going to start drinking water today. So, let's see. And um, also something to note, TCA, if you're using like the 7%, you can dilute it with water based on the manufacturer's instructions once again. Um, but, what was I gonna say? That's going to determine how deep the peel is. So we're gonna do a superficial one. We're just doing like a 13, nothing too crazy. Um, and hopefully I have my little container here and then I have a little container right here to also put in my peel. Let me get my, my hair's not really in my way, but I did have this just in case. And this you would basically just wrap just to prevent your hair from getting in the way. Now, something else, that's what I'm forgetting, my Vaseline. So Vaseline. You're gonna want to take some Vaseline and some Q-tips and put them in the area that you don't want to peel. So for example, this is not a seven, so I don't really want to get too close to my eyes. So I'm going to put some of my Vaseline around my eyes just to make sure that I don't accidentally get it here. Now, if you have permanent makeup, there's still some on here. If you have permanent makeup, you're going to protect your brows and your lips and all that with your with the Vaseline as well because this can remove the color and the pigmentation. So be sure that you're um, really super careful. So if I had brows, I would be doing my brows right now. And um, I do want to kind of protect my lips, the cracks of my lips. I don't want my lips to crack the creases of my lips. Sorry guys, I get nervous when I'm on live, so just forgive me. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, so there's that. And, oh my gosh, guys, you have to prep your skin. So, first things first. Well, I did this second. Like I said, I get nervous. It just can't help it. You're going to get a peel prep solution and degrease your skin. Okay, I'm gonna take this off because it's sliding off my head anyways. It's annoying. So I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna avoid the area that I just put that product on, that Vaseline. Um, I don't have makeup on, that's just a filter, which actually doesn't even make sense for me to have on right now. Let me turn off the filter. There we go. This is me, guys. This is me. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. So since I did that messed up backwards, guys, I will put caution on the replay. Caution. We'll go to minute three first. Okay. Here we go. My skin is pretty much degreased you can see actually and i'm not wearing makeup today so that's just stuff that's in my skin fats oils all that stuff so now let's go back and put the vaseline i really want to protect my under eyes those are very delicate let's even go ahead and do the top are you getting nervous are you getting nervous? Okay. Eek. All right, so I have my peel prep solution. Okay. My face is clean and then I decreased it. Um, if you don't have the peel prep, 
You can always use like a 90% alcohol or in some cases people use a witch hazel, but I definitely recommend going with the brand that you're gonna use and ensuring that you are sticking to their protocol. So if they suggest a product, probably best to consider using that product, okay? So here we go. Let me open up the little bottle of TCA 13. What I love about TCA is that it's really good for like almost all skin types. Let's see. So I'm gonna pour out the product into my little cup. Okay, got it in the little cup. And take my alcohol, my cotton pad and dip it in all the way. And then I'm going to wring it out because I don't want it to drip into my eyes. I don't want it to drip onto my face in any other way. I'm gonna be very careful when you're messing around with acids. Okay. Ooh, and it does not smell very good, just so you know. All right, so you take your um, cotton pad, make sure that it's all dripped out, all of the excess um, acid is drip, is wrung out, and you're gonna start with a layer. Oh, it smells like rotten eggs. I like to go upward. Okay, and now you wait. Now the sensation that I feel right now is a little bit more tingly than the lactic acid 50 that I did the other day. And that's normal, but it's not bad, honestly. It's really not bad at all. I don't see anything happening just as of yet, which is fine, it's normal. I, I'm gonna do another layer. Let's see, we need to wait about five minutes before we continue on with another layer. And so that's what I like about TCA also, is that it is layerable. So this is one of those that you're going to layer. Um, usually the first day, if you do it right and you do all the protocols. Hi Kelly, hey Mo. Um, if you do the protocols properly, then you're gonna see some smooth tightness on your skin and then it's gonna go into more dry, tight, and you're gonna start to see the dead skin change a little bit. If you're super fair skin, well, in most cases, you're gonna see a pretty significant difference in the color of the dead skin and your skin. If possible, if anyone's in here that has a timer, please time me for five minutes. Well, four minutes now. Um, okay, 444. Um, then you'll see probably some flaking around your mouth usually is the first place that you see it because you move your mouth all the time, all day eating, you're talking, and then around your nose. Um, let's see. Then the face, uh, the flaking will expand all the way throughout your face. Um, let's see, for this particular one, the 13, you can apply multiple layers. The, um, the thing is you have to wait in between each layer, so you have to wait about five minutes. You need to always be wearing gloves. You need to have all the proper precautions and everything that you, um, all of your supplies set up in advance. Because on top of that, sorry. On top of that, as you layer, you're gonna start to see some frosting. Like I already feel some tightness right around here. Um, I'm gonna do another layer here. So I'm gonna pour a little bit more out onto my cotton. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my sink. 
soak up all the excess and then I'm gonna wring it out because I want my cotton pad to be evenly distributed. I want the, the liquid to be evenly distributed so I can evenly distribute it on my face. I still have about three more minutes. So I'm gonna leave my cotton pad right there, ready to go. Um, it really does smell like rotten eggs. If you've ever smelled acetic acid or um, TCA, you're gonna know, you're very, you'll, it's very distinct. Um, whenever your skin starts to frost, which is basically like a, it almost looks like a light snow, like a snowy appearance, more so than blanching. When your skin starts to frost, you definitely do not want to keep adding acid to that area, okay? Your skin is already going through the process that it needs to go through. It does not need any additional um, acid in that area. It won't really even penetrate anymore, to be honest with you. I'm just rinsing off the gloves because they stink so bad. All right, we have about two more minutes. Let's see what else I can tell you about it. Um, you can definitely use a retinol before this product. It's gonna help even out your skin tone. Um, ideally, you wanna do, you don't wanna do any harsh scrubs that day, the day that you're doing the peel. You don't wanna do anything that's going to maybe make the peel penetrate unevenly. And if you have issues like rosacea, or if you have issues like, hey Taryn, if you have issues, skin issues like atopic dermatitis, or you have any active chronic inflammatory conditions, or you keloid, or anything like that, you're not gonna wanna do this kind of appeal. You're gonna wanna start off with something way more sensitive or specific for sensitive skin. So I can do this peel, um, I would say probably six to eight times to see the most beneficial results. Um, and what's crazy is as you get higher in the percentage, you get up to the 20, 25, 30. 30 is going to be just strictly for your body for the most part. You can dilute down the 30, which we talk about in my course. But for the most part, you don't want to do that. You just want to buy the one that you're going to use because you don't want to start getting into the chemistry of it. Although I do have a chemist and pharmacist that's going to talk about this and why and how to dilute certain things. So um, let's see. Okay, 444. So I have already applied. There's not. It's not white. It's not hazy. I'm not going to rinse anything, okay? Thank you. So now I'm going to take my cotton pad that I've already wrung out. I've wrung out the excess and I'm going to do this again. Oh, now I feel it. Mm. Now I see, I feel the burn. Ooh. This is where you need your little fan. That's the only thing I didn't have on me. I left it in my studio. I'm gonna rinse my hands off just so I don't touch my face or touch something or touch this marble countertop and who knows what kind of long-term uh, chemical reaction that could have on this marble. So um, I want to make sure my workstation is really clean and clear. I'm starting to feel the burn for sure. What's crazy is that my face isn't looking very red right now. It just feels like little ants crawling around. I'm really hoping that this time around it's going to help me with my current acne situation. Like I said, I am um, inflamed right now because I had dairy products. Those don't work well with my skin type in my body and um, this post inflammatory hyperpigmentation when I get a pimple it reminds me that it was there for like six or seven months so I'm trying to get rid of that that's my goal 
Um, let's see what else we can talk about. Let's talk about downtime because TCA, oof, as you get stronger in the percentage, you're gonna have more downtime. Um, it's better if you try to start with just one layer at a time. I am familiar with acids. I've been prepping my skin for a while now, so I don't feel like it's super important for me to just stick to one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and go probably, probably, let's see. Uh, I mean, my skin's feeling pretty tight, so I'll probably stick to those two layers that I just did. Now, what am I going to do when I'm ready to stop? Okay. I'm going to take this baking soda paste that I've made. I'm going to take this baking soda paste. Hi. And I'm going to apply it to my skin in about four minutes. That is going to neutralize the TCA that I have on my face right now. So um, the more pasty you make it, the better, because then it doesn't just like slip off. But I'm at my bath, I'm in my bathroom, I'm at my sink, so I'm not gonna really worry too much about it. It's not super like runny, but it's also not like pasty, super pasty. So it's okay though. I'm gonna be very cautious when I'm applying it. And that way I can really neutralize this without having to worry or use any other kind of products. Now, aftercare, let's talk a little bit about that. So what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna apply some healing oils that I have. Um, like I said, every brand has its own recommended products to use afterwards, but I'm gonna continue to just follow what this brand recommends. And like I said, in the Chemical Peels 101 course, you're gonna learn all of the ins and outs of all the different steps of a peel and all the different types of appeal and the gradual progression once you get into like a real deep, deep peel. So, um, yeah, I think I have about one more minute and then I'm gonna apply it everywhere that I applied this and I also am gonna be tuning in um, to my, hey, I'm gonna be checking in on my lives or on stories, I'm not sure yet, just to show you guys the status of my skin because this time I should actually peel. TCA is going to give me some flaking and some peeling. So I am going to be showing up, no filter, like I am right now, and um, showing you guys the process. Now I am using a 13, so it's not gonna be crazy, but once I get into the 20, 25, then it's gonna be wild to see my face just turn tomato red and to see like the actual healing that my skin goes through to get to hopefully getting rid of this PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and to get that like small pores, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, all the amazing things that TCA is known for. All right. So, I think I have about one minute. Hi, Tesseray. Let's see what else I can say. Mm. And I could probably do this one because it's a 13. Um, like every every other week maybe would be good. And um, as I get into more layers, I can do them every, I can spread out the week. So the more layers, the more spread out because you need to give your body that much more time to heal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the paste. I feel like I could do one more layer, dude. Let me do that. I just, I'm gonna do this right. Too bad I'm not gonna save this live because I totally messed up, Desiree. You don't understand. This live, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Can you relate, darling? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Put it in my little cup and I'm gonna wring it out. And I bet you it's gonna burn. I don't see any frosting, so I think I should be okay. And honestly, I've done chemical peels where my all of my skin is like crazy red. And um,
so I just did another layer. I'm gonna leave this one really does burn. Um oh <laughs> thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I might I might post it. I, I messed up the first few steps because i I get so nervous when I go on live. I just can't help it. I'm not a pro yet. So um that's it for that layer. It is now really burning my face. It feels like oh and I can see the frosting. Yeah, I can see the frosting. You can kind of see it too. You see that whiteness? That looks, <laughs> I know I'm white, but like you see the white? I don't know how to explain it. I can see it. It's official. Okay, I'm gonna give it about a minute or two, about 4.55, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on, this powdery paste that I've made. Um, you can also use this to spot treat certain areas, but you wanna be very careful because you are gonna peel in that section. So you just wanna be careful with that. I can still smell it all over my face and my gloves. Now, if you are, um, if you have hyperpigmentation already, if you have like, issues with that and that's one of the reasons why you're doing this your prep is going to be much longer you're going to be using a um, melanin inhibitor longer than most people you're probably going to want to use it for about four to six weeks so keep that in mind it feels like a, like a mild sunburn honestly it just feels like a mild sunburn i'm going to take this off so i don't get it dirty no i'm not trying to Show off my goods. Just, just trying to do this. All right, here we go. Let me see. If I can show you guys. Oh, it feels so nice. It doesn't stop it right away. This is such a good look for Instagram, I swear. Amazing. Like I said, it doesn't stop it right away, but it does start the process of neutralizing. and um, then I'm gonna rinse it off you can get some of it in your mouth so just be careful I'm gonna go ahead and rinse hi Priscilla All right, 
my TCA peel is done. Oh my goodness. You want to be super, super gentle and very careful with your skin. You just put it through some stuff. Mm. All right, guys. I will be checking back in the next few days on stories to show you the day by day. I'm using a TCA peel, 13%. Um, it's not brand specific because I always recommend that you look at the guidelines for your um, product, the manufacturer's guidelines. But um, I'm hoping to see and cure some of this inflammatory or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, probably reduce a lot of the inflammation um, that I have here and just get myself an overall brighter appearance. It also um, stimulates collagen, elastin. Um, yeah, it's really good. So anyways, everyone stay tuned to my stories, turn your notifications on so you can see that. I'm gonna go day by day. And also stay tuned for my in-depth chemical peels course launching in June. Super excited. It's gonna be done in a professional setting um, with everything that you need, setups, guides, um, downloadables and product recommendations everything that you need and step by step how to do it on yourself at home or if you're able to legally in your state or country how to do it on your clients um so yeah thanks for watching everybody see you later